Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm Tiffany. Today I am painting one of the Muppets. I decided to do something a little different from my other content. I usually paint like skulls, skeletons, and that kind of thing. Um, if you're interested in that, you can check out some of my other videos. Uh, I'm just trying to post all my full length videos of my paintings on here. Uh, I try to post every Friday. So I'll try to do a new one every week. This was a gift for a friend, because uh, I know they like the Muppets. So I decided to paint them Beaker. So I started with sketching it out and then taping it down on my board. Um, and then of course, decided to paint the background black. So once I got that all done, I thought I'd start with his hair. And I'm just gonna go over the whole thing with my base coat first uh, and then once that's all done then I'll start adding some more detail and shading to make it look more realistic. What's your favorite Muppet show or movie? Mine is definitely a Muppet's Christmas Carol. I watch it every year around Christmas time. Definitely one of my favorites. Can't even think off the top of my head what other movies there are. Um, probably should look that up. Now, what's your favorite character? I gotta say, mine has to be Beaker. <laughs> meep, meep. <laughs> I've painted a couple of Muppets characters so far. Um, I've also painted Animal, which he's definitely a good character too. Uh, his hair was super annoying and took forever, but still managed to get through it somehow. Definitely wouldn't be a character I'd want to paint again. So I finally got all the base coat down, um, and then I just kind of in a stippling to try to make that like, fuzzy look, and then adding some shadows in. I added some highlights in the hair. Just gotta trust my process. Um, it gets a little better as it goes. I have been thinking of painting a character off Sesame Street too. I think Oscar the Grouch would make a pretty good painting. Not sure when I'll get it done, but it's definitely on the list. I find I always get <laughs> too many ideas of things I want to do when I only have so much time to do it, but get it done sometime. Now Beaker's just gonna stare into your soul for the rest of the painting <laughs> with his beady little eyes. So I found I struggled a little bit when I was painting his nose. I uh, tend to water down like a black to do like a shadow. Um, so I have to go back and like kind of darken it up on the bottom. Uh, if I go in too soon, uh, it just kind of lifts the paint that I already have on there. So I gotta make sure it's dry first. But uh, I came together and I put some highlights on the top. So it looks better now. I find that fuzzy look is coming together a little better now. Uh, and I'm just kind of adding a few more hairs to his head to make it look a little more like stringy or hairy, I guess. <laughs> then some uh, final highlights on the high points of his hair. And then finally add a little shadow on the bottom. And then that should pretty much finish up that. Random thought. Um, I don't know if you if you watch any of my other stuff with the whole like skeleton theme. Thinking I should do Kermit skeleton. What other Muppets could I do? Miss Piggy. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Just kind of do their silhouette and then their skeletal figure inside of it. Um, I've also done that kind of thing with the Simpsons. I think I got Bart on here. If you want to check out that one. I have also done Maggie and Marge um, when I was on a Simpsons kick. I do want to do all of them. Uh, I do have an idea of how I want to do uh, Homer. Um, Lisa, I'm still kind of thinking of. I want to kind of do a spin on it. So I just need to think about it for a while, but I'll figure something out. And I have done some animal skeletons before in that kind of theme. Um, a couple months ago I did a frog skeleton so I guess Kermit would be similar to that one but I really need to make it that you can tell that it's Kermit which 
I think it'd be a cool concept. Beaker would be hilarious like this. He'd have like this long skinny head and this like big body, big arms. <laughs> I don't know why I get so much amusement out of this. <laughs> Bounty really started coming together once I started working on his shirt. Um, has to be my favorite part. I did find it a bit difficult, um, but I just started with laying out all the shadows and kind of marking those points. Another part where I just gotta trust myself and trust the process, and uh, it it comes together. It definitely does. I found the hardest part was doing the lines on his shirt. Uh, when I first started doing it, I ended up starting over, um, just trying to get the flow of the shirt to make it more three D. Um, once I added the shadow in there, oh, like I found it really, it really came together. Well, I hope you stuck around to the end. Uh, thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed my work, I'm also on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook at Buffer Creations. And hope you uh, stay around for some more. Thank you. Bye.